Hello and welcome. This is the Chausson X650. Now when the 550, if I remember rightly, came out in 2020, it made quite a splash. So there you have it. Six meter van, that one. It's, that's the one that came out in 2020. I got the dog to do the video for it because I couldn't be bothered. And so it says here, new 650, 636 centimeters in length. I do think I have seen this before, so it can't be all that new. I'm pretty convinced I've seen it before. But now, what is clever about this is that it has got a very narrow width. It's only 210 centimeters in width, which means you're gonna be able to park it in all sorts of places. But wow, this is a real oh, full-timer vehicle. Now, I can't say anything about the quality of it and what it's like to, uh, to drive. But what I can say is, look at all that space you got up there. Here you have your fridge. Big fridge there. You got a bit of storage or something below the fridge. You wonder what this could be? It's a... Uh, to nothing in particular and we've got the kitchen here we've got two burners there we've got storage below and storage up here now let's have a look at the front look at that Hey, it's hard to believe it. Also, the colour scheme doesn't make it doesn't help it look, but doesn't make it look any bigger. I, I, I don't think anyway. I think the grey makes it look dark, and uh, um, I think it'd been better if it'd been white or something. The dog would have loved it. It wouldn't have been white for much longer. But before we do that, let's have a look in here. There. Uh, so don't stand on that in your shoes. So I won't do so. So let's just pretend you can see how much space there is here by me there you go I can take it up to the roof lots of space in here uh, we can uh, we pull this out it's got a false so I don't want to damage that or knock it over there's your shower shower unit there we can close this like that now here they've got this enormous table and Okay, Fiat Ducato front. We have here what might let it down. I'm now going to demonstrate. Yeah, see? I'm touching. I'm uh, so you've got 175 centimeters of clearance, just maybe slightly more 176, 777. Uh, if you're any taller than I am, I'm 175, then it's going to be a bit of a problem, I think. Which is which? Which is? A, I mean, there might be a way around this. So I do appreciate you can't just make the roof bigger. It's not all that from an engineering point of view. But look at all this space as well you've got down here. So if, I mean, there's. Uh, uh, I believe you can make turn this into a bed as well. Um, maybe maybe one way of doing this would be get rid of the bed altogether. Um, up up here, give me a bit more space. I think you've got, you've got to make the bed every day, which might be a bit of a nuisance for for some people but even so what this has got this this the, the front end here uh, is let down by the bed and I do appreciate that there is not a huge amount of space but it's, uh, for the for the bed but, but look at this it's it's really it's an it's enormous in here it's not a flat floor but I think at this price level you can't expect a flat floor and uh, looking towards the back now, I did say I wasn't going to talk about the quality of it. I can say some of the feedback that's come back to me on the X550, which there have been a number of people complain about things not stuck on properly and uh, uh, and similar problems. I, the, 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 the sure some of the Challenger, at the end of the day, it's the same vehicle. And uh, so there have been these problems. Uh, I'm just mentioning them because I, I mean, obviously, I don't drive the thing myself. And I've never, I've never driven this. And I've never been in one with the engine which had started. But but if those problems have been resolved, and I don't know if they have, I might, I might just happen to have bumped into those people who were complaining. But. Um, 
Wow, I, I do think though, for, for the, the, the maneuverability of something like of this size, um, the ease of parking, but above all, that huge amount of space there. You know, if you if people like myself who live in the van, I mean, that's that is in, that's incredible. Let's have a look around the outside as well. Now, as you'd expect, integrated into the door, you've got this, and also it comes with a uh, window in the door. Now, let's have a some uh, exclusive inner design, 210 centimeters width, alu uh, hubs. Uh, big sitting uh, area, smart lounge with ISOFIX, um, the what they call a variable garage and uh, wardrobe, which we saw, and uh, so it's got a choice of mobile farben uh, colours for the furniture and polster is upholstery, uh, sm uh, smart storage and 150 litre fridge, and here we so here we have the garage. Let's have a look in here. I think it's even better. I don't know if my bike would fit in there. I don't know. My vehicle's 235 centimeters wide, so it's 25 centimeters extra. But there is a bit of space though at either side. I can't say, would my bike fit? Maybe it would. It certainly would have took the wheel off. <gasps> Maybe, I know not everybody has a bike, but I think most uh, uh, RVers campers have bicycles I think you know, somebody will write I don't have a bike I can't cycle um, obviously it's a, it's a design feature each to their own does that look nice doesn't it look nice uh, what happens when it breaks that's what I think um, uh, but here we have access from two positions that See, it's a first, but it's uh, it's it's unusual. And uh, there you go. This access down. I'm using that tall things. And that anyway. That that's the garage which we saw. Um, I hope I've done a rather th a thorough enough review of this. Um, I'll give a description. Uh, there'll be a description in the description box, if I remember. And, uh, I think that's an interesting vehicle. Okay, I'll put links below to other uh, similar vehicles and links uh, um, it, it, it will it will appear. Uh, it, I have appeared during the film, but thanks very much for watching. And so, all the best for me in, uh, where am I? Stuttgart, Germany. So, and uh, bye for now. Oh, and uh, do subscribe if you're interested in this type of thing. Upload every day, 21.15. And um, thanks for watching again.